Hello, superstars, and welcome to our very first shared reading of the week. We are going to continue with our thinking of nonfiction and specifically thinking about nonfiction, main topic, and main idea. Now, the story we're reading this week is a story called The Perfect Beak. And in this story, we are going to be looking at different types of birds and their beaks and the very specific job that these beaks serve in helping the birds survive. This is directly connected to what you are all learning about in science, so you should have some pretty good background knowledge at this time. We're going to dive on in with the focus today being on understanding, you know, what is this main topic? What is the story about? And then thinking more specifically about what is the most important part of, you know, that topic, aka our main idea. So let's dive in. The Perfect Beak by Stephanie Patron Cahill. All birds have beaks. Beaks come in many shapes and sizes. They help each kind of bird get the food it needs. So we have blue jays, hummingbird, spoonbill, heron, toucan, sapsucker. A beak is like a tool. Each one does a different job. Blue jay. A blue jay lives in woods and fields. His beak is short and strong. It's perfect for cracking open seeds and nuts. A blue jay's beak is like a nutcracker. Right? And I'm thinking, oh, well, that's a perfect kind of name for it because what do the blue jays do? They crack open seeds and nuts. Heron. A heron lives near water. Her beak is sharp and pointy. It's perfect for catching fish. I see here, she's got a big old fish and it looks like that beak goes right through the fish's body, showing that it's using it as a spear or like almost like a, a sharp pointy long stick to capture the animals. A heron's beak is like a fishing spear and we can see a fishing spear right here. Hummingbird, a hummingbird lives near colorful flowers. His beak is long and thin. It's perfect for reaching nectar in flowers. A hummingbird's beak is like a long, thin straw. Right, so we can see that long, thin straw, and it can suck up that delicious nectar. Next, we have the spoonbill. A spoonbill lives in freshwater marshes. Her beak is round like a spoon. It's perfect for scooping up shrimp from the muddy water. Well, I know that I use my spoon to help me eat my soup, or my cereal in the morning. And I can see right here that this beak almost looks like the head of a spoon so it can scoop it right up. And as the bird toolbox note says, a spoonbill's beak is like a very big spoon. Sapsucker. A sapsucker lives in the woods. His beak is hard and sharp. It's perfect for making holes in trees to get sweet sap. A sapsucker's beak is like a hammer and chisel. So we can see here on this tree, what are we noticing? Well, I am noticing little holes in it. And I'm wondering, and I'm seeing some uh, like little wooden flecks on the sapsucker's beak, if these holes were made with that hammer and chisel like beak. Toucan. A toucan lives in the rainforest. Her beak is large, but light. It's perfect for picking fruit. And a toucan's beak is like a pair of salad tongs. So we can see the tongs are the things that go like this. You can pick things up just like its beak can come up and pick up the piece of fruit. And we can see that beaks help different birds eat different types of food. But all, kind, all baby birds' beaks open wide. Their beaks are just perfect for getting food from mother birds. So we can see down here, little baby bird, doesn't matter what type of it is, all baby birds open their beaks wide to get that food. So my friends, we are going to think about the main topic and idea in this story. Now, the main topic is pretty obvious. We can see it just by looking at the title, The Perfect Beak, that this story is all about bird beaks. But when we zoom on in, we think about what is the most important thing about beaks that this author wants us to know, is that every beak 
serves a specific purpose, right? So we have the heron has a specific purpose of spearing that fish, stabbing that fish to pick it up. We have the spoonbill whose um, big wide end of its beak goes to pick up fish, um, scoop up food in its big uh, spoon-like beak. So we are going to have you do some reflection. You're gonna think about that main topic, which we said was bird beaks, that main idea that every bird has a beak that does a specific purpose. And you're gonna think about a couple of key details that supports this idea that bird beaks serve a specific function that help the bird survive. So my friends, with that, I will let you go. I will see you on Wednesday for another shared reading. All right, happy writing.